Okay, this is kind of exciting. I bought a couple of uh, water lilies from uh, Art Snaps uh, Nursery Store in Port Kells. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't have any lotus plants. Seemingly, lotus plants are tropical and they don't survive our climate here. Um, I've read conflicting information about that. But anyways, these water lilies, to me, the flower looks an awful lot like a lotus. And uh, these water lilies survive in our climate. You can put them in a pond or you can put them in a, in a big pot uh, with water. And uh, they can, the, the top of the water can freeze. And as long as the ground doesn't freeze, um, they're fine. So uh, these things kind of thrive here. So uh, it, the, in Port Kells, they have them in these little baskets full of gravel. And the reason they have gravel <clears throat> is because in the clear water, um, you can see them, but uh, I transplanted mine into uh, that potting soil mix. It's, you can't use potting soil because peat moss will float. You need, uh, it's a special pond potting mix and it's clay and mud. And uh, so I transplanted it into that. And then uh, sadly enough, <laughs> it, uh, the, the water's all muddy, right? So I think uh, yesterday I bought, I bought one for Qi Jinping and today I went and I bought one for me. So I think I'll probably give him the clear one. <laughs> but uh, this is what's so, so, so allegorical, is because uh, the, the, the potting clay and, and, is, and mud is dirty. And it, the, the saying is, rise above, uh, rise above it all like the lotus. So the lotus rises above all this dirty, muddy water, and then it's a beautiful bloom in the sunlight. It's, it's, that's why it's so allegorical, you know, about reaching enlightenment in a, in a dark, dirty world. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So uh, <clears throat> I think what, uh, what I'll do for Xi Jinping's is I'll keep it in the gravel. I'll transplant it into a bigger, a bigger pot but just keep it straight gravel and that's the way they have them in the nursery and uh, the thing is that the gravel doesn't have fertilizer so you have to put the the tablet fertilizer tablets in with it which uh, but then the mud obviously has fertilizer in it and that's natural so uh, and once again so that solidify it, it, it reinforces the fact that plants need fertilizer to grow you know this whole demonizing of of uh, of uh, fertilizer is is demonizing plants it's organic organic what do you think organics grown with you know <laughs> anyways today but to say today we're, we're planting a couple of water water lilies and i'm going to keep one for me and i'm going to gift one to uh, xi jinping as i said in my message to him and uh what i'll probably end up doing is when it finally blooms might even not bloom this summer maybe next summer um, I'll probably just take it down to the uh, Chinese consulate in, in in Vancouver. You know, we've been protests outside there so much. Um, it would be nice to uh, to to go inside and to and to gift one, gift them one, because they can they put it outside in the sun. Uh, they can leave it outside over over over, over winter, and uh, it'll it'll bloom. And uh, I kept I'm gonna keep the clay the clay muddy one because I think that's so allegorical. But I think you can't really give someone a, a pot full of dirty water, so I think I'll I'll keep it in gravel and uh, let uh, let them have the clear water one. So I'm gonna see if I can do this with my hand. Whoops! There we go. Okay. So yeah, so it's kind of smart how the way they do it. You know, they just put it in one of those little bags to take it home, and then you just put it in your little pot there, and there you go. And obviously, I'm just gonna go put some more water in it. Okay, so here it is. I took it out of the bag, and you can see there's holes. It's full of gravel, and, the, and there's holes in the basket, and the roots can come out. So uh, I'm just going to put it in, and there we go. And the water doesn't turn all muddy like my other one. So yeah, I'll put it a, a bigger basket, and uh, use use the gravel one for Xi Jinping. But uh, w once again, so for the if you're using the clear water, you need the pond tabs. They're little. Uh, you put a, a tablet in once a month, and it fertilizes the water for the for the plant. Otherwise, it won't grow. And uh, this is the the Latin name of it. But uh, seemingly, I guess traditional lotus are pink, and American lotus are yellow. This one is red. So this is this is a Vancouver lotus. I mean, it's close. But I think it's the, the the metaphor still applies, you know, you know, the lily growing up out of the the dark, muddy, dirty water, rising above, 
you know, a dark and dreary world and blooming in the sunshine. That's very metaphorical. So here we go. Now another difference is that the water lilies, the lilies lie flat on the uh, top of the pond and the bloom, uh, I've heard conflict, the bloom rises out of the water but not much, but whereas the lotus, the, 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 the leaves and the bloom will rise up out of the water. Anyways, this is as close as I can. You know, it's a gift for Xi Jinping and I liked it so much I'll keep one. And. Uh, rise above it all like the lotus. Instead of an olive branch, it's a, it's a water lily in the spirit of peace.